So tell me about your garden project. The garden project started off with CAPA. When the staff came in and had looked at how can we improve people's physical and health and well-being, we thought, get them outdoors, get them into a bit of fresh air, and that improves their, some of them have told us that they're sleeping already, they're sleeping better, um, get rosy cheeks, they're talking about things that have been spoke about for a long time, it's reactivated things about people that maybe went walks in parks and mm. talking about reminiscence when they did walk in the park and stuff like that. So that's what it came about and we've actually improved it and now we have two walking classes a day. Fantastic. Um, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. That's brilliant. Um, obviously as the weather changes we're going to have to rethink that and we're going to bring more indoor activities in. Things like parachute, mm-hmm. chair exercises and we've come up with the idea of maybe charades. Oh, which great. will get people up and going and moving and make it a funny experience for them as well because we find that if they're laughing and joking about it they're more likely to take part in it. That's great. So tell me, how was the garden being used before Kappa? It was being used very limited. Um, smokers used it and in the better weather we might have one or two people that would go and just sit on the bench and sit and have a blather together. Um, but now because we've got the walking thing, people are walking around the garden, they're having a sniff at the flowers, they're talking about some of the wee ornaments and things we've got in the garden, they're talking to the driver, one of our drivers who takes the day we keep in the garden and maintaining it, wow. they get involved in that. Um, they've actually got plants and things, they've got tomato plants, they've done strawberries. So it's became a big, it's a big event for us now um, doing the garden activities. That's great. And how have the staff uh, come on board with this? Staff have been brilliant. Staff have seen it as a big positive and a big benefit. Um, I think when, when the, the first two staff members came to the learning event, mm-hmm. that made a big difference because that got them on board and it got them talking to their colleagues and, and saying to colleagues what improvements are going to be here, how we're going to benefit as a staff group and how the service users are going to benefit from it. So that went a long way to getting staff on board about it. That's wonderful. Have you come across any challenges? The biggest challenge I think probably was at the beginning was getting the staff to listen. Um, because I think some of them were a bit cynical about, you know, just standing up three and four times a day is not going to make that much difference to people. Okay. Um, but through doing it, they actually see that it is making a difference. Even things like moving and assisting, when you're moving and assisting somebody, sliding your hands down the back of them to move them forward. Mm-hmm. People are now at a, a point where they're actually moving forward themselves because they know that motion is going to start them off. So it has made life easier for staff as well. That's wonderful. Excellent. Yep. And what do you think has been... Oh, wait a minute, Ellie. <laughs> 